Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited about today's video. It is time once again for the monthly collab that I host along with my dear sweet friend, Melissa, over at I Merely Melissa. We go in together each month and co-host a group collab. So we have so many amazing YouTubers signed up today, ready to bring you guys some really cute, really fun, delicious Valentine desserts. I have two actually I'll be bringing to you. I'm so excited about them because I've been wanting to try these two recipes, which one's more of just like a little fun treat for the kids. But I've been wanting to do these for a while now, so I saved them for Valentine's to share with you guys. But let's spin around and get started. Also, pause. <laughs> I'm not letting you go that quick. Check out that link in my description box. It's for the playlist. Thank you so much, everyone that's part of this group collab. Thank you, everyone that's watching, and my dear sweet friend, Melissa, that's always sticking it out with me in these collabs. Check out her channel link below as well. Okay, let's sit around and get started. <music> to spray our pan and then dump our mix in. Okay, so there's a little package of double fudge. So it says to just put this right on in with it. Okay, next we need three tablespoons of milk. And we need a melted stick of butter. Okay, and one million dollar egg. Wash your hands. Okay, now can you tell me if you truly know Dolly, what's the one thing she needs to get going in the morning? She wrote it in a song. You have to know if you've ever worked a job, you know this song. Working nine to five. A cup of ambition, okay? So I was going to make a cup of coffee and then use that as my milk, but I didn't want to take away from the milk from the brownie recipe. So I have some instant coffee grinds and I'm just going to add a little bit because a little bit goes a long way when it comes to flavor. So mm, only like, only like that much, just like a barely quarter of a teaspoon. Okay. And I'm going to mix that all up. Okay, so side note, I don't know how our grandmothers did it because I have a KitchenAid mixer and I was trying not to use it in this video, but it has taken every ounce of strength I have in my body to whisk up these brownies. I just wanted to throw that in there, okay? Okay, so next time I will definitely be putting my hair up because I have worked up quite a sweat trying to go old school and using nothing but a whisk, but... You know, our grandmothers did it, and I really, really, really don't know how. They had a lot more strength than we did. But I'm going to use my grandmother's corning ware right now and make these brownies. Just going to flop them in here. And the box says don't lick the spoon, so don't lick the spoon. But I'm going to turn the camera off real quick. I knew Dolly wouldn't let me down. These brownies were absolutely delicious. Now let's get started on our next recipe. Okay, so this little dessert for the kids is so easy. I have my Twist and Shout Oreos, which is the great value brand of, or their version of Oreos. And I'm not a huge Oreo eater, but I'm telling you, I couldn't tell the difference. So for the kids, I'm gonna use these because they're like half the price. 
And then I just have some white chocolate or almond bark is what it's called. And I'm gonna melt this down. And I have my Valentine sprinkles. And then I'm gonna use a little of my red food coloring for the white chocolate. So I cut the almond bark up in the chunks and I have sort of like a little double boiler. I got this little pot at Hobby Lobby not too long ago just for doing little recipes like this. And I'm just gonna let this start melting. I'm gonna let this water start boiling and then it'll get my chocolate hot enough to where it's melting, but it won't scorch it and burn it to where I can't use it. This chocolate's melting very, very well. All right, so I'm gonna just dip three-fourths of the cookie down in the chocolate. Now, before these start to dry, I'm gonna add a little bit of my sprinkles. And I'm just gonna keep a few more here. Okay, so I started scorching the paint because I have zero patience and I'm in a hurry today trying to get this done before we have some kiddos over. And yeah, so I got all the paint done of what I wanted done. And then now I'm going to do just a little bit of white. I thought I had some little edible eyeballs left over from Halloween, but apparently I did not because I could not find them. So I'm going to melt just a little bit of white to make eyeballs on these and they're gonna be little love bugs little valentine's love bugs looks like little like look like little ladybugs and they're hopefully gonna be as cute as they were on pinterest Okay, so you can get these little edible food markers. They're just like food color and markers at, I got these at Dollar General and you can also get them at Walmart or Amazon anywhere. But I'm just gonna take the black one. This one comes with red, blue, green, and black. I'm gonna take the black one and I'm gonna dot all the little whites of the eyes to make little eyeballs. And it's just like a marker, it just, it's using food coloring instead of ink. That way it's edible. And here are my sweet little love bugs for Valentine's. These are so cute for kids. They didn't turn out absolutely perfect. Some of my black edible ink was a little bit dried out, but I made do with what I could. It'd be so much cuter with the little edible eyeballs you can get on the baking aisle. I know they're out during Halloween. But then I also, you might see a little bit of shimmer. I don't mean to make you dizzy. I'm trying to let you see like the shimmer. But I had some of this Dazzle Dust and I just kind of sprinkled that over top of them to give them a little shimmer effect. I wish you could see it kind of the way I can. You can see it definitely on that one. When the light hits it, they just sparkle, which is perfect for little girls who loves all the glitter. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out my Bestie Girls channel, Miss Melissa. She's linked in my description box along with the playlist with all of the amazing YouTubers that have all the recipes just waiting for you to come on over. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. I would love to have you here as one of my new friends. And let me know in the comments you stopped by. Bye, y'all.